Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the push button to actuate an LED with the MSP430 G2 Launchpad using Energia. For this example, we can use Launchpad by itself by utilizing the onboard push button, or we can use an external circuit with a push button and pull-up resistor connected to the Launchpad. We will show you how to set up the onboard button. Push buttons, or switches, connect two points in a circuit. When the push button is unpressed, there is no connection between the two legs of the push button. Since we are using a pull-up resistor, this creates a default connection to VCC, which causes our microcontroller pin to read as high or 1. When the button is pressed, however, it makes a connection between its two legs, connecting the pin to ground so that the pin reads as low or 0. Now let's go over the code for use with the push button on our launch pad. In the program, Pin 14, which has green LED on the launch pad connected to it, is set up as an output in the setup function. Here, the LED pin refers to the green LED, which is set as output. The push button, which is connected to pin 5, is set up as input. The pull-up resistor connected to this pin is enabled. In the main loop, the state of the push button is read to check if it is pressed or not. The state of the push button is read into the variable button state. If the button state is high, it means that the push button is pressed, else it is not. Whenever the button state is high, the green LED is accordingly switched on, else it is switched off. After we compile and program the launchpad, we can begin our visual verification of the code execution. When the button is not pressed, we see the green LED is on. We press the button, and the green LED turns off. And that's it! Now you know how to set up an interface and onboard push button with the MSP430 G2 launchpad.